So hope everyone's having a great day. Today we are starting in a 2003 uh, GMC Sierra 2500 with obviously the Duramax in it. I haven't checked this yet, so we're gonna check it together. Um, but we have a code for the intake air heater, specifically uh, a P0540, my brain's a little lost, intake air heater and correct voltage. So we're gonna just check it. It, it should be pretty simple. Um, I took this cover off already. Someone's already been playing around here. You see it's got a different relay in here. Um, but yeah, we'll take a look and see what's going on. So I'm just getting the scanner set up. I just wanted to show you the code that's in there. Again, we have a, I don't even know if you can see that. Kind of blurry. It's a P0540 intake air heater feedback circuit. Now, right here on this, this is an LB7 Duramax diesel. Um, this is the relay. This is kind of the busing where all the power goes through. And then we obviously have the intake air heater right here. This is the tip of it. It gets grounded through the thing. Um, the one thing that I did notice when I popped the hood that I wasn't a little concerned with, there is no second battery in here. Um, now that shouldn't throw this code, but I don't know how much current this can draw. It could be drawing an excessive amount of, not excessive, it could be drawing the normal amount of current and without, with missing that second battery, it may be skewing it. So we're just going to do our testing, make sure that, that the relay works. We're getting power to this and then we'll check resistance in the heater. Um, so I'm going to go into the functional test and we're going to command this heater on. And I'm just going to stick my test light on there. I have it on, uh, I have it over here grounded on the engine block. It's going to take me a second to get to it. i got to dig through all these menus. I'm going to go functional test. We're going to go output controls. I know you can't see what I'm doing. Because I'm in the sun. So we have... Get there. And take our heater. We're going to go ahead and turn it on. And it should light up. On, off. And you can see, you got to click, you got it on, and then off. On, off. Now, I'm going to go grab my uh, current clamp and we're going to check it. I apologize about the background noise, we're just going to have to deal with it for a second. But I have my current clamp on here, and obviously DC. We're going to go and turn it on, 46 amps, so we know that that's drawing current. So let's go back, let's check over here and see if we have there's a connector that's obviously that's a control side i think we are missing something over here oh i see what happened so let me show you real quick i should have noticed this in the beginning instead of getting all crazy into it um unfortunately all my camera equipment is dead so it's gonna be a little rough today so let me show you real quick what's going on so as you can see right here we have this is going to be power from the battery and it's on one side of the relay, which is okay. These are not connected underneath, they're just junctions up here because they're um, high amp current, so they have to have a good connection. This is the feed to the actual intake air heater that goes right there. So we saw it pull about 46, let's just say 50 amps just for the sake of it. This right here though should not be right here. This is the, the sense. Um, as you can see, it goes over here, uh, I mean the duct tape. So we actually need to move this terminal to that. That needs to be right there. That's not correct. So let me go grab some tools and we'll move it and go from there. Okay, so one little test before we switch those, I just wanna make sure, um, just to test that we've actually fixed this vehicle, because this is just a feedback signal to the PCM to let it know um, that there's power being applied to the actual intake air heater. And I don't know if it can measure current across it, like some of the old Fords do that. They can actually measure the current across the shunt, but this isn't that type of a design. I think it just tells it. Uh, but if you go right here, you can see in our data display, we have intake heat relay off, intake heat feedback off. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna turn on. You can see the, the relay's on, it clicked, but we have no feedback. So we know that that signal, that system's not working. We're gonna go shut that off. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and switch these. So we're gonna move that wire to where it should be because that's not a ground. This wire is for the feedback. Um, now this should not be uh, energized. I do recommend if you're ever messing with this stuff, always unhook the batteries. And I'm not gonna be able to use wrenches because it's all uh, done interesting. Let me go grab some socks. Okay, I finally got the right tools. Okay, that's a 12, 12 millimeter for that. Now we're gonna just take this off because this doesn't need to be on there. And like I said, I do recommend if you're ever messing with electrical on a car, always unhook the battery. If you're not careful, like even I'm not careful, we should cover this up so we don't short nothing out. Put that back on. See, so that's why. Don't be like me. Let's 
Usually I always choose the most difficult route for some weird reason. Okay, I have it. And all this is, that's a mounting bolt. That's, there's nothing special about it. And this other one's a 13. There's no, nothing crazy about that. Just a mounting bolt. This is all. Something's not 100% right here. Cause it's sitting really low. Um, I mean, it's gonna get a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there. Go ahead and tighten this back down. I don't know how I feel about that. It's tight, so it's all the way through. It's just, it's not. I think they're missing nuts on it, but there everything's crushed down there, so it's it's gonna have a good connection. I mean, this is what you get. This is like a AutoZone special when everybody messes with their stuff. Okay, so now we're gonna go back. Oh, I hope I turn it. Okay, yeah, the camera's down. <laughs> so now we, I still have it on. Everything's hot. We're gonna go turn on the intake air heater. On, still no feedback. Why are we not getting feedback? Take air heater feedback. You know what? The reason why we might not be seeing that is because the code is in there. So I probably should have cleared it before, but let's clear the code and see if I have feedback. Cause that's directly what the truck threw a code for. Cause that, that terminal is not in the crap spot. So we clear the codes, make sure there's no codes in it still. GMs are really, really weird. They, they won't do certain things. It'll kind of disable it, disable the data PID. If there's a code for it. Um, you know, like the EGR system on these these LV7s, they'll do the same thing. If there's a code in there, it won't let you do anything to it. You have to clear the code to go back and do some testing and get the correct values. It's really, really weird. But you just, that's something you have to understand messing with these trucks. But we have, we're going to intake air. Okay, let's go find feedback again. Glow plug type. Don't care about glow plugs. Because we don't have the typical, no, still off. And take our heater voltage though. It's, hmm. I didn't check and see if that was on there before. See the voltage? So, what we can do to, to kind of check that is just unhook this because there's a little jumper connector in here. If I can get it unplugged, I don't want to break it. I don't want Okay, we're gonna unplug that. Yeah, see it's floating. Yeah, okay, so if you go right here, so what I did, this is the jumper harness right here. It plugs into this. It's for the feedback signal. See, it's a, we have a floating 4.6 volts. The intake air heater relay's off. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and see it doesn't change. So we know that it, it drops a little bit, but that's probably because the intake air heater's drawn uh, so much current that it's dropping the battery voltage overall. Um, so we definitely fixed something What we're gonna have to do is clear the code run it and see um, We can do We can go into the DTC status and see if it set the code see if it passed It's one thing I love about GM Goodness okay, Let's get all my stuff off uh, Goodness this is Huh? Kind of. Trying to, Tom. This is all um, interestingly done. This wasn't even on there all the way when I took it apart. It's not going to be perfect. This is a mess. So we'll leave that. Let's just make sure we're good. Okay, so now we're back in the truck. What I'm going to do, we're going to clear the codes. I'll let it run for a little bit. Um, and then we'll go in data. We'll actually go in data and see if you can see the air heater uh, come on. I should check for codes. Let's just make sure nothing came back. Nothing. So we'll go into data display and see if we can, uh, if, it, if the truck energizes it. Because I'm not sure when it turns it on. 
I don't know if it's in data one, data two, data three. Okay, Doki. Should be this data set right here. So then what I like to do, nice thing about this, we can go in graph mode, we'll do four graphs. Um, so I have, I have intake air heater relay, intake air heat feedback, putting on fired up, battery sounds. It's kind of hard to crank. It's only got one battery in it. And then the generator L terminal, that's for the alternator, we don't have to worry about that. I'm gonna let it run and I'll return uh, and see what it does. So as of yet, um, I did let it run for a couple minutes. The intake air heater, as you can see, did not activate. Of course, I lost my data. Um, I turned the key off. The intake air heater did not activate. Uh, what I need to do is go look in um, component operation and see what is the strategy. You know, like coolant temp, what, what temperature does coolant need to be, or, oil, or not oil temp, this doesn't have it, but it's probably off of uh, intake air temp and something with coolant temp when it activates it and uh, I'll see if I can get it within that scope to start the truck up and watch it and make sure that it works and if I do I'll film it the customer might need to take the truck so if he does I'll just have to let him take it and try it I mean we definitely fix something that should take care of it my only concern is um, that did have a reference voltage on it as you can see when you unhook it it's about 4.6 volts it could have hurt the computer but I it seemed to work just fine so I doubt that I just don't understand why the scan tool says that there's no uh, feedback. But the voltage changes, so it might just be the way that the strategy is in the computer. Sometimes they're a little weird. But uh, I'd like to make sure that I want to see the intake air heater work, the truck commanding it on itself, drawing the current, and then we can go into DTC status and check it. Like we can go right here. This is, like, I, this is one thing why I love GM. You go in here, um, and I think it was a 540. I'm not, I don't remember. There's a five, four, so we got P0540. Yes, yeah, the intake air heater feedback, it hasn't ran yet. So we're not 100% sure if it's gonna throw the code. And it'll either say not run, filled, or passed. I'd like to see it pass so that I at least know that the computer, it, it's working now, but in order for that to happen, I need it probably to be colder. But um, we'll see what happens and I'll, I'll update it at the end. So I'm using my phone, my uh, GoPro just died. As you can see, I just started up cold right now. The intake air heater relay is on. And then we also have uh, heater feedback voltage. The truck's doing it all naturally. Um, the intake air temp is about 37 degrees. It's just, just a nice little cold start. I just wanna make sure that this thing runs through its, its deal um, and that everything's good. I mean, you can see it's actually working now, but uh, once it shuts off, I don't know how long the strategy is to, to keep it on. Once it, once it goes and take a hurry to relay off, then we'll go ahead and check the, um, we'll see if it has any codes in it first of all, and then we'll go and check the uh, DCC status. You see it just shut off. So now let's go see, let's go back, back. And we'll go codes menu, just make sure there's no codes. And I believe it was a P0540 before. We have no codes present. I can't believe this truck actually started with one battery. I mean, it's not that cold out here, but it's pretty good. It's got to be a good little battery that's got in there. I mean, that's why they put two batteries in there for a reason. So I'm going to have to, I can't look through the, my phone because I can't really see it. If I were 540, we got passed. So we're good to go. That's all taken care of. Um, at least we know that that's not going to be a problem now. Um, so, yeah, just always pay attention when you're taking stuff apart. Make sure you put it back in the same place. I mean, that wire... Being on the ground islet just doesn't make any sense because um, it's supposed to measure either the current or the voltage that's being fed to the heater. So you know it's it's I, I hate to say it's kind of common sense, but not really because you have to understand how the system works. Um, but just always pay attention and uh, hopefully you found this interesting. And let, don't forget to like and subscribe and have a good day. Thanks. Bye.